What's up, everyone? I'm in the Middle East. I've been filming for the past couple days for the main channel. Everyone's looking at me like I'm crazy right now. I've been filming for the past couple days on the main channel, um, which all of that stuff will come out, but I felt bad because I like want to upload stuff to Clips channel while I'm here. Um, and I've just been so busy just being a chotch that I haven't filmed anything on the Clips. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna film something today. Uh, I'm outside of the convention center in Qatar. Well, if you don't know, we're in Doha, Qatar. If you don't know where that is, it's in the middle of the Middle East. Uh, it's right next to Dubai. And we are here for, well, we leave, we have one more day tomorrow and then we go home. So bring it up. And uh, we've been doing uh, crazy things. We've been to F1, we've been to the Geneva Auto Show, which, we're at, which is where we're at right now. Um, today, we're gonna go out to the middle of the sand dunes and we're going to be just doing things out there. I don't even, it's weird. I don't know what we're doing. I have an itinerary that's given to me every day and it's just like crazy stuff that like you can come and do in Qatar. So, hey, don't drink that. Ooh. Um, this is a McLaren, oh, it's amazing. This is a McLaren latte from the world's first McLaren cafe. And then TJ said, what's a McLaren latte? And he said, there's a special McLaren sauce in there. What does that mean? <laughs> it's like... Caramel? It's like caramel and cinnamon and a little bit of vanilla. It's very good. But we're waiting for some peeps right now. We're waiting for us for our group. There's a few other like YouTubers and stuff from all around the world that are here with us. And we're going to be taking a trip out to the middle of the sand dunes today. And uh, it's crazy. It's like there's like a resort, I think, out there. And I'm pretty much going to be double filming today. I'm filming on my vlog clip on my vlog camera for the main which won't see the video for a while i think i've been filming every single day and i'm going to be dropping like a legit hour-long video when that one goes out but let me show you guys what let me let me show you guys what the middle east looks like okay everyone here's what it looks like are you ready are you ready boom that's it that's that's what it looks like Woo. that was supposed to be a joke if if you didn't get it Okay, before we go, we're like about to leave. I saw this uh, model toy collection or, or seller, and I, you'll see it in the main channel vlog. We're meeting up with a collector that collects the Porsche models, and they're very, very, very expensive, and the collectible is super rare. Watch the main channel video when it comes out in like a few weeks, you'll see it. But I was walking around and these are the A scales. These things are pretty pricey. And I freaked out because I saw the GT2 RS and I saw it and I was like, oh, Sabrina, if they had this in the UV purple, I would totally buy it. And then I looked down and they had a 1 8 scale. And these things are so accurate. Uh, this is 16 of 99 ever made. And this thing is $6,000. It's incredibly expensive for just like a, a, a scale thing, but they're highly collectible. And um, gonna, I think I'm gonna come back tomorrow and purchase this. And I have to fly home with it, like in a big box. It's gonna be kind of tough, but very, very cool. I'm super. Yeah. Well, I told him I have to come back tomorrow to get it. I guess I could buy it now, but. All right. So we just got to this resort. This is like a recreational area, all the stuff they're like really trying to promote and sell with all this stuff. But you can do a bunch of cool stuff. Like you can go and drive in the Land Cruisers and on the on the dunes, and you can take the razors out, which I thought would be pretty cool. But I think you're gonna be like sharing people, which means like you wouldn't be able to drive very aggressively because there's people in the car with you. And then you can do sandboarding. I'm interested in the sandboarding. Wow, look at this. It's all this cool things and stuffs and. I want to ride the camel, I want to sandboard, and I want to feel like I'm not in America, so I feel like that's probably my best bet. This place is beautiful. The thing is, is Sabrina's a little girly girl, and I don't think is going to want to do any of those things. I think she's just going to stay inside these little villas. So we're going to be on our own. Got no one help, got no one to help film, got no one to help do anything, so I'm going to do the best I can to capture all of it for you. Hopefully this music doesn't get me demonetized. And I think this, I think this is a little like, Doom buggy sand track for RCs, I think. This guy's just looking at me. Ooh. I imagine, but there's nothing in there. Let's go try and find some food. The sandboarding option uh, was not even ready yet. So we're gonna take uh, Maverick, which is a Can-Am. And I thought we were gonna have free access to the dunes, but it's actually just like a little follow circuit. 
I'm gonna do my best to film it. I don't know how well it's gonna be because I got no one with me. Give me the dunes, brother. Unfortunately, that was like a, a, a ride for kindergartners. It sucked, but eh, it was so cool to do it here. There we go. This is more my speed, baby. Look at this. I'm on, I'm on a camel. I'm on a camel, baby. I chattered in on my horsies for a camel ride. Arabian night. This guy's crazy. Hey, get along with this guy. This guy be crazy. Shoo. 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 That's me. If I was on that, that'd be me. Oh, look at the music and the sunset. It's like a Disney movie. Arabian night. Oh, look at the camel. Arabian night. All right, we're in the uh, car back, and we're gonna drive through the desert in pitch black. Hopefully, we don't get lost. There's like a big caravan of people. We first we got in the car, and then they said, "No, no, you the car's not for you." So we got out of the car. Now we're back in the car. We're back in the car. It's weird being in a place where no one really speaks English, and even. The individuals, you to true, <laughs> but even the individuals who kind of speak English don't really speak English. So it's a, uh, it's it's actually kind of cool. The cultural differences are awesome. Them, How are you doing? Are we good? Oh, it's it's, <laughs> it's a little bumpy. It's a little it's a little, it's a little bumpy. <laughs> too difficult. Oh, too difficult. Just got back into the city, and now we're gonna catch Uber back to the hotel. Just want to show how cool oh my, you know it's a little bit smudged i'm sorry it's the fog. yeah i just wanted to oh, is that our uber is that a suzuki that's not this it's so rad here and it's hot it's like 100 degrees oh gosh let me look sorry oh, guys by the time you guys are watching this video assuming i get it up the day I, this is where it gets weird i'm 10 hours ahead of you guys so technically it's the next day for me but if i post this within the next couple hours, which I'm gonna to try to do, you guys should get it what is yesterday to me. And what I'm trying to say is by the time you're watching this, I'm probably already on the way back or I'm about to be coming on, I'm about to head home. When I come home, I travel back in time. It's very strange, but Qatar has been awesome. I'm really excited to show you guys the main video. Tomorrow is my last day and it's by far the gnarliest, um, I guess like excursion and I've already had like a pretty crazy trip. It's been really fun. I miss everything that's going on in the shop. Uh, Dylan, Anthony, Calvin, and Ian have been working on everything else while I've been here. And the rest of the GTT series, well, the first four episodes of the GTT series were already pre-filmed. So episode two is gonna be dropping tomorrow, which is really cool. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's our new build series we're doing and it's our new giveaway car. It's pretty much gonna be a replica clone of my R34 GTR. The first one I got was yellow. And a lot of people are really upset that we're painting it, but uh, just hold tight. It will make sense as the videos go on. Like I said, I filmed this a while ago. And I, uh, so the whole process, you'll see. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. But we have some unfortunate news about the R34 that I haven't said anywhere yet. So I guess Clips fam, I'll let, I mean, I guess I should let you guys in on it, but the, unfortunately, the RB26 that's in the R34 GTR, the mineral purple one, we have to pull it out again. Uh, the, on the last main video, we started it um, and it sounded better. And we, uh, I was leaving the next day, so we finished it that night, whatever. But we didn't really get to like test it or like really diagnose um, how the car was. We just fixed it and put it all back together and started it. 
Turns out, uh, we think the real problem with the Arbor 26, uh, you know, we checked the head and we checked everything visible, we checked compression, we, we, we checked leak down, we checked everything. Um, and uh, after I left, the boys did more diagnosing and they found that even with the car plugged into the computer, uh, that we're still not getting the right um, data back from the engine and it's not running right. And what we ultimately think, and we won't know until we tear it apart, is we think that there's potentially uh, maybe we I uh, maybe we bent the crank um, or bent a rod just slightly so uh, the car is just the timing is off and everything you know you do a leak down or compression test it won't show anything like that with the crank or a bent rod um, and the head was fine and you know it, it's really unfortunate this was like a slight risk that we took with not just fully yanking the engine out but like literally nine out of ten bases were good um, so we're like, hey, in the mean of time, we're just gonna check everything and like throw it back in. Uh, and it was a calculated risk that I knew potentially it would have to come back out. And the 34 is supposed to be at SEMA. Um, and SEMA's 18 days away. And I don't, I don't wanna give it away, but we're gonna be doing a, a completely new engine for the, uh, for the GTR. Which sucks because the other the current engines the nismo fine spec um and all that's very cool and, and even though we built it and it's all the it's all the bells and whistles um it's got to come fully apart the bottom end has to be disassembled uh we have to diagnose what is wrong in that block or in that crank <sighs> really unfortunate um it's gonna cost me like to get the car to sema with another 2.8 in it, it's literally gonna, I'll be like very upfront. Uh, and this isn't like a flex or anything because it sucks ass. Like I'm not ha excited about this. It's gonna cost me a lot of money. It's gonna cost me like like 40 or 50 grand um, to get a new engine in that car. That's, yes. Okay, Will, I'm just filming the end of the clips video. Can you give me one second? So we're gonna have to um, do a whole new motor setup, which I will let the surprise roll out as it happens. But in the next, I don't know, week or two, the main video should come out of explaining what happened and uh, what we found and what our solution was to get the car back together. I'm upset about that. The M4 is going into paint today. It's been finished being primered. Um, it's gonna be getting color on it. And we should hopefully have the car back to us by the end of next week. And then we have Calvin's, as we speak, Calvin's BRZ. That is going to be the Street Hunter Reveal BRZ is being built right now. And then next weekend, we're going to be at Laguna Seca for Good Life. And that super also has to be ready, man. So this last minute Doha Qatar trip was a calculated decision because we have the manpower at home and that's something I've been very proud about is I've been able to build like a team at home like Dylan Anthony uh uh I'm so tired right now Dylan Anthony Calvin Ian that they're able to keep the workflow going and keep the pace while I'm over here doing stuff and on the other side of the world the Middle East but there's so much going on there's so many videos and random updates are going to be coming out so stay tuned for that clips I know I haven't been here in the last uh month it's just been Prepping for this month has just been so time consuming. I just haven't even had the the, uh, the energy to film these videos, but I'm back. I'm, I'm really trying to uh, get back on the grind because it, like truth be told, I love this channel more than the main channel. I feel like I can upload anything here and like there's not people like complaining in the comments and like shit like that. So I don't know. Thank you guys for watching the clips video. I'll be heading home tomorrow maybe if there's an opportunity to film something with the super cool secret secret thing i'm doing tomorrow i'll film something but if not i'll see you guys back in san diego thank you so much for watching and i'll see you boys in the next clip